are listening to Radio Cosmos. All night long. Bravo! A couple of us, little lady. Come on, Come on, Sean. Break for 30 seconds. Come on, Sean. You are now listening to Bad Radio. Hello and welcome to Bad Radio. Bad stands for Business at a Distance. This is a show about local businesses and business networking. We are here in the News Radio WFLA Orlando studios from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And I do really love the applause today. That's a fantastic one. You're pepping us up. Mm-hmm. Love it. I am your host, Angela Smarito. In the studio with me, we have our producer, Melissa Fox. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> and then we also have another Melissa, Melissa Jacob with Striking nice Brand. How do you do? We'll stick with that country western theme. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have a plot shirt on today. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Um, uh, Melissa is our co-host as well as our videographer. And if you go to badradio.com, you can, um, under episodes, you can watch all the previous episodes, YouTube. And, um, like you said, she does a fantastic job. It's a fantastic job for our sponsors, but you can also go to strikingbrand.com and see all of Melissa's other work because she's a videographer as well as a photographer. Um, did I say that at strikingbrand.com? You did. Okay, good. Perfect. Thank you. Um, we, well, we were going to have three guests in today, but we have two, so that's good. Please welcome Karen Kelly. Hello. Karen is a nurse, a uh, family nurse practitioner with Mercy Medical Wellness, and we are super excited to have she, she has been on the show once or twice before. I think this will be the third time. Third time, no, but the first time in this, this studio. One. Yeah. Right. right. And then new to Bad Radio, please welcome Dan Rudy. He's with BioFlex, which is cold laser therapy. But we're both mercy. Hi, Dan. Gotta say hi. Hi, hi, hi Dan. How are you doing? <laughs> he just looks at me. He's like, nice to mm-hmm. be here. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a room with some very beautiful, intelligent ladies, uh, and look forward to the conversation. Okay, I like him, Karen. I like him. Off to a so good start. Lay on the compliments there. <laughs> <laughs> Way to Angela's heart. Only the best. <laughs> Only the best. Uh, this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Fro- Frogger's Bar and Grill. Looking for a place to go with friends or meet new ones? Then you're looking. You're looking for Frogger's Grill and Bar. With four great locations, there is bound to be one near you. Come with friends or bring the family for some food and fun. And don't miss out on Frogger's amazing menu where everything is fresh, never frozen. Oviedo, Mount Dora, Apopka, and Altamont Springs. Frogger's, hop in with food and fun. So this is usually when I I turn it over to um, Melissa for the networking news. But I'm actually going to do this read today because um, Terry with Live Your Best Life is the sponsor of this segment. And um, recently, my daughter, Anna, has signed up to uh, sell CBD Mm -hmm. um, under or with Green Compass. So the networking news is brought to you by Symphonic CBD. Symphonic CBD is a branch of Live Your Best Life, both advocates of Green Compass Global. Green Compass products are USA, USDA organic, lab tested, non-GMO, made in the USA, and cruelty free. CBD products are key in making calmness a habit. And with Green Compass core products um, curated to restore and keep your body balanced. Find Symphonic CBD on Instagram at symphonic.cbd. So what are your thoughts, Karen, on CBD? Are you a fo- I love CBD. Yeah? Yeah, we were just talking about that the other day. My cat's sick, so I'm trying to find a really good CBD to give him. I Don't laugh, but I think he has long COVID. Right, like anxiety, like anxiety sick. No, I think he has long haul COVID. <laughs> I swear it's a thing. Do cats get COVID? I didn't think you know animals I, even got so it. I, I have no idea. All I know is he got a respiratory infection, and then four weeks later he dropped four pounds. Now he's like a little scrawny thing. Aww. He's Napoleon. He's the one that I'm always posting. He's just right. a big mm-hmm. regal cat. Uh-huh. I swear he's got long haul COVID. Huh. Oh, I, I mean, he's to- treated a kangaroo before the heck are you serious yeah well, we definitely want to talk about in that a, in, oh. in florida uh, like here texas, in texas. Oh, okay all right well that makes a little more sense a kangaroo oh, he's got lots of interesting stories is no, this, no, okay. no, no, this no, for no. the cold laser therapy no he, he had stomach issues oh, oh. He had stomach issues yes. did but he have laser I, therapy yeah. on a kangaroo <laughs> he's got a picture it's real cute oh gosh well have I need to get, that. you'll have to give it to melissa send it so to me and pop it up so people can see this so we did want to talk about something with networking news. Now go ahead and say yeah. what the topic is today. So the topic for today, I just wanted to talk about um, how technology, I mean, we've been talking about chat GPT and AI and technology in general, um, but I just wanted to talk about how technology and being online, how that um, changes like networking mm-hmm. and the benefits and the challenges of having to do networking online. I know we got over COVID, so there was a whole 
um, section at a time where we, that was our only option. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, especially with technology now, everybody's on social media, just if that's good, bad, how does it help? How does it hurt? I, for me personally, I love using social media. Mm -hmm. There's certain um, aspects of Facebook particularly that um, work very well. A lot of it is the instant messaging. So I don't okay. have to have somebody's personal cell phone number or their email to send them a message. I also can send them a message that's a large file. Mm -hmm. Facebook is, is capable to send videos and proposals, and um, they, have, they made it now to where you can send audio. Before um, in Facebook, you, like I couldn't send somebody a sample of their commercial. Mm -hmm. I had to convert it to a SoundCloud or something that oh, they okay. had to go to a link, but now you can. Right. So um, I meant for me, it's been phenomenal. It's like flexible. Yeah. I imagine people too, uh, a lot of times their emails get inundated with junk mm -hmm. and maybe they don't see that mm -hmm. as often. I mean, what do you guys I don't think? know. I, I think it kind of depends on what you do. Like I could mm -hmm. see how that would work for you. And right. I, I did do a lot of that during COVID. Like that was almost like the only way that we could really, uh, at the time well, that COVID hit, remember I was opening up a, a different clinic yeah a kind of different thing going on uh -huh. and then so that was really the only way that to do networking so in that regard it's good but I get really frustrated with social media mm -hmm. because I am personally not good at it mm -hmm. so, <laughs> <laughs> like I have I don't even have Instagram I, I I might have one I had one and got hacked last week oh I know really? I saw that oh uh, yeah did you see they're opening up a clothing line <laughs> yeah right I know I'm I still waiting wait. I know. I can't wait to try it on. Wait. Yeah. She, Can she we be models? She's like, don't open anything. I've been hacked. I was like, and you know like, what? I'm going to start a clothing line mm -hmm. because apparently I'm, I'm we already really got, good at it. You already warmed the crowd. <laughs> oh, my I'm gosh. Gonna, oh, you guys. Actually, the scammer um, reached back out to me. Here, let me see my phone. Oh. They um, threw the other guy's uh, Instagram page. And uh, it was they were like, hey, got my page back. Um I wanted something like that. I wanted to turn that other person in. So I'm going to send you, they tried to, they tried to get me to fall, fall for it again. And I was like, I'm like, no way. And it, um, he, well, that was one. Did, did you post that on Facebook too? No, this was, to this was yesterday. Oh, wow. Um, he's like, don't click on that again. He goes, just send me the link you got to my number. And then he posted the number. This is supposed to be from my friend, right? And it was a 904 number. And I'm like, I'm not opening that. And he's like, don't be scared. It's my new number. Just send just send it to my number. I'm like, no way, not doing it. That's not your number. And he's like, it's my number, LOL. And, and then um, finally, I was like, all right, I'll get to you in just a little bit. And he gave me a heart. And he said, OK, I'll be waiting for it. Thanks. And then I blocked him. Mm -hmm. That is not my no. friend. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. no. I called him. And I was like, dude. What is this number? But I, they sent me a number. Can we like track who it is by this 904 number? I mean, that's maybe. a forge IT question. I know, right? Yeah. So that's one of the things that's a challenge. So if you're networking and stuff online and social media, you can get hacked. Yeah, and right. so, so people, it's less, you know, people might be more skeptical. Um, you never know. And you don't have that like personal connection because it's all should, behind the screen. Done? I can unblock them at any time and I could be like, all right, I hit the link. You should be getting whatever now, and I'm not doing it. And they're like, oh, wait, it didn't come through. Hit it again and just keep messing with them over and over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, be like, dude, I don't know what's wrong with you. I said, I hit the link you told me to, and, and if it didn't happen, that's on you. Right. <laughs> and just let it go by the wayside. Yeah. yeah. I just watched a whole Netflix thing on getting hacked. Uh, it's a, it's a, like I think it's brand it, new on there. Why like, do they hack people? So though? this particular site was shut down. I think in like 2017, and the guy was arrested. But it was their whole entire page was based on a hacker. Mm -hmm. It was hacking into these young girls' computers and taking photos that they had taken of themselves mm. oh. and posting it to like this website like in porn revenge. Sites? Yeah. It's called a revenge porn oh, site. Yeah. Oh. I don't even want to say the name of it because I, yeah. I God yeah. forbid that know. thing ever come back. But it destroyed a lot of people. Yeah. It's on Netflix. Yeah. I'm going to watch You're it. You're welcome, Netflix. Because I try to figure <laughs> out, I mean, what they're like, okay, so they're starting, are they really starting a clothing line? Or are they, you know what I mean? Or, you know, I, I also saw where it said that I was like doing Bitcoin or something. You know what I mean? I'm like, mm -hmm. what exactly, other than getting access to my contacts, what is the end game? Are right. are they trying to get into like bank accounts or, you know, I don't know. Are they just like 
having a good time trolls. messing with people. I don't know. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, that, I don't understand. I mean, that that had a you know they wanted naked pictures, but mm-hmm. naked. Um, I just <laughs> so technology. Yes, I think that technology has improved networking for somebody in sales a lot. Because if I'm like, if I am prospecting a company or a person, then I can find out so much Mm -hmm. from that person through social media. Mm -hmm. Um, I find out a lot from that person if they don't have a social media. There's, and then everybody has different. There's like LinkedIn gives you more of a professional, oh, there's music. So yes, I believe that bringing technology into the mix has um, improved networking. Mm -hmm. But I, again, I think that, I mean, I use it all the time, so... So I think it's what a split room. Well, I not for my business. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I it's, we'll talk about it more. Yeah. We're going to break right now, so stay tuned. When we get back, we're going to jump in with um, Karen Kelly. There you go. Right. It should be fun. You stay tuned. You're listening to Bad Radio on News Radio WFLA Orlando. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. Welcome back. And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore. If you're ready for a girl's night out, then you have to check out Premier Couple Superstore with their huge selection of lingerie, shoes, toys, games, love oils, club wear, and so much more. We won't pay these high prices because we're going to go directly to the source. 5009 South OBT or shop online at premiercouples.net because a couple that plays together stays Stays together. together. All right. So before break, I introduce Karen Kelly. She's a nurse, a family nurse practitioner with Mercy Medical Wellness and Dan Rudy with BioFlex, which is cold laser therapy. And then we were going to have a third guest is Dr. Jeffrey Mueller. And what was, I I remember I had a definition of what I put on him. He is an integrative physician. Yeah, he's a a medical doctor, but he's Mm -hmm. been primarily focused on Functional and integrative medicine. I want to talk about a little bit what that is, but first and foremost, let's talk about Mercy Medical. So, how did the, how, explain to us what kind of facility this is? So, it's actually Mercy Medical and Wellness. So, and it's wellness? kind of okay. funny that the and is missing on our sign and <laughs> Mercy Medical Wellness. Right. Well, that's our social media. I have no idea, but something about when I, we were talking about social media, mm-hmm. I, I don't know anything about it, but whoever helped me with our website said we need to take the and out when we do your social media because it won't. The ampersand? Is it the, the ampersand? And. No, it's the whole word. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, yeah, I know. Maybe it's harder to so search. So now or... everybody thinks we're Mercy Medical Wellness. That's also, which is oh. cool. I mean, it, whatever. It, it is what good. it is. Yeah. yeah. So um, we are a new clinic. We just opened on March 14th. But we have a lot of experience in, you know, what we've been doing for a long time. So Dr. Mueller and I and, and Dan here kind of had this shift in what we, we do in the functional medicine world. So most people know me as doing hormones and thyroid and gut health and this and all that from the other stuff that, and, and women's health. What, would you, what is functional medicine? So functional is basically a more natural approach to health care. Mm-hmm. Right. So and, and to do that, you've got to kind of focus on mind, body, soul is that nutrition, lifestyle, water intake, energy, even, you know, stress levels, probably number one. How does that relate like to holistic medicine and holistic? Like, is it the if same you, thing? If you can get your stress under control, then you can prevent chronic disease. That is functional medicine. Like if we okay. can alleviate stress by, you know, different like meditation or whatever, obviously I can't meditate for you, but mm-hmm. uh-huh. you know, we can walk through how can we make changes in your lifestyle so that you are more functional as a person. You know, we want to make people like empower them to take care of themselves. Well, I just like the fact that I will, I want to feel good, but without having to take a bunch of, of uh, like medical drugs. pharmaceuticals. Right? I don't want to take an antidepressant. Mm-hmm. I don't want to take this, that I don't want because Every single one of them has got a side effect that you mm-hmm. got to take another freaking pill for, mm-hmm. which is going to have m- like negative issues, like moving down the line. Yeah. But I think the thing that is most associated with a functional or integrative or holistic, they're all interchangeable is gut health. Like mm-hmm. it's just been like huge, I get, I right? Get it's gut a, health. yeah, yeah. It, well, it's, it's, uh, you know, maybe a newer science, I guess, but it's been talked about for a long time, like the microbiome of the gut, how mm-hmm. important it is. But it's becoming so on my side of the world in the healthcare industry, I'm seeing that there is a direct relationship between long haul COVID and obviously gut health, right? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of shifted my primary focus, which is the 
health and wellness and chronic disease prevention. I still do all of those things. I mm-hmm. still do IV therapies. We still do all of that. But through Dr. Mueller, who's primarily spent the last few years in the political scene, mm-hmm. um, after his experience um, with some long haul stuff, yeah, you know, he introduced me to Dan. So it's kind of like this. You're like the trifecta. I don't even know. What how, it's a God thing, totally, because yeah. I, I was kind of. Uh, I don't know what the word is. I wasn't fired or anything. I just chose that mm-hmm. to leave the practice mm-hmm. that I was at. Yeah. I didn't want to. Well, I remember be under... I went and saw Karen at the other practice, and I mean, it just wasn't like I said. I, I went to see Karen. I didn't go there because of that practice. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. You went so, for the person, and, not the. And business. so Karen's leaving, left there, and starting this. So I'm follow. I'm going. But it was Karen kind of goes. all of a sudden. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we were all going to move, and then something happened and I was like, well, I'm going to go, you know, cause like, I'm like, a, I'm out. yeah. And the, and the doctor's beautiful. The one that I was working for, she's absolutely amazing. She, I cannot say better words about her. Mm-hmm. So it had nothing to do with that. And right. she's been nothing but uh, pleasant through this whole thing, but it was kind of like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to start my own practice now. That's weird. Didn't think I was going to be doing that. <laughs> I you know, badass. I mean, it just, my last day there was February 28th and two weeks before, or maybe like, Three weeks before that, I was like, all right, well, I guess I'm going to go on my own then because I want to do this whole thing. And then all of a sudden, a clinic popped available. So I was like, all right, now I need a logo. That means that it was meant to happen. I know. Like literally in three weeks, I got so many people came and like just supported this whole thing. Right. So somebody created a logo for me, which I thought was cool. The tree of life. So that's Mm -hmm. what we have. Uh, Mercy Medical was something we tried to start to uh, like over a year I was ago, gonna ask I never you how got you going. With the name, I like the name. So we added and wellness, and just kind of like to add that. I don't know. And wellness sounds like a functional mm-hmm. place, you yeah. know, but also medical. So, and then mercy just indicates that you know it, it is a faith based. It really is. Mm-hmm. We we do feel like that's an important part of getting well and healing. I think it's a word that makes sense because, like, you know, when you have mercy on somebody, it's like come on, help me out with this. And we, and we, I think in this world, we're having to really show a lot of mercy and a lot of compassion because as you mentioned, you didn't want to take a antidepressant. No. Well, an antidepressant, you know, like Prozac, most people are not Prozac deficient. Like I love telling people that. They're, they're deficient in something else mm-hmm. and, and it starts in the gut. Yeah. You know? I know that um, I when I first started having anxiety issues and all this other stuff, you know, I went to my doctor and they gave me like Xanax and then put me on oh citalopram and this other stuff. But really, what it was is that I was just drinking too much alcohol and that I was. <laughs> There's always a root cause. Yeah, right? and so uh, you eliminate the alcohol. Guess what gets eliminated mm-hmm. along with it? All that anxiety, all that anxiety and weight right. and you know all mm-hmm. that other stuff. That sounds like how you were saying once you get rid of stress, like all these other well, stress things is go one away. of the top three things yeah. that destroys your gut lining. So if you're a high stress person mm-hmm. and it, you're going to, you're destroying your gut, period. And then unfortunately, you know, the gut requires a wide diverse uh, diversity of bacteria and all kinds of stuff, right? So I got to wrap it up. No, 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 no. Let's just, we got two more minutes. So I'm curious, oh. I'm curious how, okay, so are all three of you partners in this practice? We all came together and that's kind of the irony is that in this midst of time where I'm leaving a practice, Dr. Mueller introduces me to Dan and he could not say like, I could not understand what exactly Dan did until I met him and saw it for myself. Mm-hmm. So what we've seen is that there's a connection between what I do, what Dr. Mueller does, which is the IV therapies and what Dan does. And we have shifted the practice and we are looking for patients that have long haul COVID or have been injured by the vaccine. Oh, really? Yes. That's like, I've seen some incredible, like I get all the way with the gut health, right? We, I, cause I've been taking care of these patients for three or four years, you know, at this point. Right. And they've kind of followed me along and then COVID. And then now I'm like, we can get you to this point by doing the gut, building your immune system, doing some IV therapies. But I'm like, there is this missing link, mm-hmm. you know, and then boom, Dan and Mueller walk into my life and I'm like, oh my gosh. And with your powers combined. Oh yeah. And <laughs> there's like nobody this like us. This is great. There's literally nobody like us in Central uh-huh. Florida. Probably. Well, I really want to talk about this uh this this three part um 
practice here. So uh, stay tuned. And when we get back, I want to talk more about what Dan does. So like I said, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. Welcome back. And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Forge IT Consulting, providing a fully outsourced IT department with a personal touch for small businesses. No company is too small. ForgeITConsulting.com. I so for before break, we were talking with Karen Kelly, nurse practitioner with Mercy Medical Wellness, and as well as Dan Rudy. And he's with Bioflex, which is cold laser therapy. So is Bioflex your business? No. Bioflex that, is a brand? They are a company that makes the equipment. Okay. Okay. So, am I? Should I not introduce you as Bioflex, <laughs> or are you? Uh, cold, la- cold, cold laser therapist is fine. Cold laser therapist. Yeah. What is cold laser therapy? So it's been around since the '80s. Um, it just about a decade ago was approved by the FDA here in America. Um, is it been, the fat burning? Well, there there are some companies that use it for that, but mm-hmm. it started in Canada as a sports rehabilitation. Uh, therapy and post-surgical because cold laser therapy accelerates wound healing and, and recovery. Uh, really, like what kinds yes. of what kinds of wounds like are the most prevalent that it helps? Like cuts and burns or just any like tissue muscle, damage. muscle tears, any tissue like, damage, oh, muscle tears, yeah. burns, anything. Yeah, it, it deep wounds. So um, they when they originally were using it since eighty six, they were doing it for like I said post-surgical operations it will it literally you're pushing billions of photons into cells what's a boton Bo- photon photons photon the oh light. okay the gotcha Sorry. Photons. I thought you said you're, so you're pushing you're pushing photons into the cells activating mitochondria mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i remember this from biology I do mighty, 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 <laughs> mighty mitochondria yeah. yeah doing the little cell diagrams yeah. yes the mitochondria <laughs> so the mitochondria is like the, let's just say on a cell it's like the mechanic so mm-hmm. if the cell is um dysfunctional it's supposed to activate and repair the architecture to the cell okay and get it functioning normally so if you have a muscle tear or something like that yeah, it, it will repair, um, it, heck, it, it goes all the way down to the bone marrow. Then it just, it, so when you, when it's pushing these photons and all that, um, it's making the mitochondria go into like hyperdrive. Is that what you're exactly. saying? Speeding okay, up the got process. It. I'm following. It, it's like a turbocharger for like an, an oh, engine. Okay. You're, you're pushing more energy into it. It's going to accelerate and function better and got accelerate it. the healing side of it. Okay. Now, do you have like a room at Mercy Medical Oh, yeah. Okay, so you have a room so people you treat. You, so you have your set of patients, and you have your set of patients. Well, we're we're all a team. Yeah, so. yeah. But, I mean, that you brought from your walk of life, your walk of life, and Dr. Mueller's walk of life, right? So you combined efforts. So, like you said, but you still have your each one of your set of patients, but now you're under one umbrella. I'm just trying to get an yeah. idea of yeah, how no. this works and um, what we can do to help you guys grow. Um, because it sounds like, okay, so you, you each have your own individual initiatives, but you collectively are coming together and you, you've mentioned COVID several times now. So it's becoming like, so can we get into that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, I am what they call a long hauler, long COVID July, uh, uh, March of 2020 is when I had COVID, Mm -hmm. um, two weeks before I had it, a friend of mine that was in the industry was a DJ. His name was Conrad Buchanan. Uh, He was 38 years old. He died in the hospital from, um, a blood clot to his lung post COVID. Two weeks later I had it almost took me out. Um, my background before this was in the pharmaceutical industry. So I had an idea of drugs. Were you a salesperson? What, what's that? Were you sales? Yeah. It's a hard gig, man. No. I've been there. Well, the FDA is more the hard part of it uh, long term for if you're not part of the big evil empire, the Pfizer's of the world, I should say. Yeah. But um, so I, I lost my friend. It almost took me out. And then 30 to 45 days later, I'm in the hospital with myocarditis. This is April of 2020. So What's I was, I was that? myocardial inflamed yeah, heart. heart. Okay, thank you. Yeah, people that have been uh, post NRNA injured are suffering. A lot of them are suffering from myocarditis. Okay. Um, and I knew something was wrong because I kept adding signs and symptoms every 30 to 45 days, which we know now is what we call long COVID, long haulers. So I became an advocate for it. And I got on three different medical teams uh, that were tied to 140 medical teams around the globe trying to figure this thing out. Mm-hmm. I started advocating what long COVID is. And even to this day, most people don't have a clue 
of what long hauler syndrome is. Mm -hmm. Even medical professionals. Um, we have patients that come in consistently from all over going, we've been everywhere. We've been to the Mayo Clinic. We've been to Cleveland. That's we've big, been, yeah. yeah. And, and they've been told you're crazy. Like there's, there's no your, such thing. all your blood looks fine. There's no such thing. So it's like he said, it's, it's not being a recognized um, and nobody knows how to treat it. All right. And I've literally traveled um, around the country speaking in multiple states of doctors. Um, ones that anybody who's into the scene that understands it uh, knows the FLCCC Alliance, which is Dr. Pierre Corey, Dr. Paul Merrick. Um, there's Dr. Cole, Dr. Ryan Cole, Dr. McCall. There's a lot of experts mm -hmm. in their fields that have been working on this and advocating and talking. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the white hats, the good doctors out there. So working with these doctors and, and these teams, finding out the root cause to long COVID long hauler syndrome and mRNA injured is a spike protein. There's a spike protein that our bodies are, are having, not everybody, mm -hmm. but, a, but about a third of the population around the planet are suffering from this. And it's almost the best analogy I like to use most of the times is peanuts. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of us can eat peanuts, no problem. But you can have somebody in a room with just the air of it and have anaphylaxis, have, right. have a reaction. Mm -hmm. Essentially, that's what's going on with the patients that are suffering long call and vaccine injuries. That spike protein is causing anaphylaxis or cytokines, and they're having chronic systemic so inflammation. So people are allergic to it. Is that what was in the vaccine, a spike? <clears throat> well, so uh, let me first say, I think I said nobody knows how to take care of it. Not many people know how to care for this. So in the functional world, and this is kind of where we mm -hmm. our, our worlds collided, is that I... I've recognized that this is a situation, you know, and I'm like, how, like, what is it? I did not know about the spike protein thing until I met Dan and right. he's explained all this to me. And we were like, we got to get together because there, I, I don't have a single patient that does not have something going on. What, tell me what the symptoms are of long. So COVID. the, the one that is probably, I mean, there, anything from chronic fatigue is one. That's the one I hear the Chronic most. fatigue. And then shortness neuro, of breath. Neurological conditions. So ringing of the ears, uh, migraines, numbness and tingling. What about the taste and smell Taste thing? and smell is also one. His well, He's got a laser that can also eclipse your nose. I did it. It's, it's, it's well, because Tom, my <laughs> husband had COVID you know, it about it, treats it, shoots it right up there. You, you made that look ago. like it wasn't fun. <laughs> I mean, it was a little weird. You know how it felt like I had like nose clips on, yeah. but it didn't hurt. It did, it just, I think the only reason why I felt weird is because there was a room full of people. Also, oh, okay. we were demonstrating, remember oh, that? Fun. So mm -hmm. I felt it felt great though. And so what I did was like, all right, Dan, like this is great. If Dr. Mueller is behind you, then I'm behind you. Mm -hmm. So let's get this going. I'm pounding that table. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> She's getting excited. I get so well, excited. I can't help so it. My husband, Tom, had COVID about six weeks ago and he, he I mean, he's back to normal. He didn't lose any weight, thank God, but he, um, he can't, he, he smells a little bit, but he can't taste anything. It'll come back. And if it doesn't, then you can do some uh, essential oils. They have like literally kits on, on Amazon or you can get your own, you know, and you just, you have to re like why reprogram. Why, why can't these people taste? Vi so viruses live in the nervous system. That's why when you have shingles, it goes along a, a dermatome, a, a nerve a lot, pathway, yeah. right? Okay. So- or even if somebody's got, you know, herpes of the lip, it'll mm -hmm. reactivate, you know, on the lip. But that's that's a nervous system mm -hmm. that's triggered by stress, right? So anyway, COVID's no different from that. No matter where it came from, it's still a virus. It's going to act like a virus. So it does seem to settle in the nervous system. The olfactory nerve is is one that is responsible for your sniffer. So if it's inflamed. And your sniffers in charge of right. your taste. Well, and also the virus replicates in the nasopharynx part of your, where the n mouth and the nose connect. Mm -hmm. That's why they got to stick the stick way mm -hmm. up there. And they, they were sampling brains was the joke <laughs> or something. But, so the virus replicates rapidly back there in that mm -hmm. area. But we are now seeing that there are so many other features to COVID that will blow your mind. Wow. Well, um, like I said, I know we're getting ready to go to break, but I want to know more about what you're doing over here and how you guys are doing it all together. So um, you guys stay tuned. I know I'm going to break a little bit early, so I but I know Melissa's going to have some fun fill in there so she'll get us all where we need to be on time. <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Bad Radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. 
And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Ground Up Property Services. With rainy season around the corner, you should ask about the water sensor so your lawn does not get too much water. And if you're buying a house, this is good information for realtors too, as well as to ask about their irrigation system inspection. And don't forget about the lawn painting service. If you're planning an outdoor event and you want to hide those brown spots on the lawn, you got to call Rick Hall at 407 468-4295 468-4295 or reach out to them at groundupinc.net. And I did say uh, grass painting service. They grass paint they, painting? Paint, yeah, he paints people's grass. So if you're like you're having a wedding or something and you have brown spots and he'll come and make it look all nice and green. Mm-hmm. And it's all healthy and it's not bad for the... That's a one. really interesting uh, profession. Yeah. Well, he does. It's part of it. It's part of his business. Oh. We had him on the show, and we talked for two hours about irrigation systems, and it was one of my favorite shows. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was really good. Was good. Um, okay, so we're here with Karen Kelly and Dan Rudy with Mercy Medical um, Wellness, and we were talking about. We, I mean, okay, so I want to try to streamline what we're talking about, so that because we, we tend to like jump around. So um, Mercy Medical Wellness has its different things that each one of you guys bring to the table. But what we're talking about right now is treating long-term COVID. So just give us another quick description of what you would um, call, I want to hear from you, Dan, long-term COVID. So uh, what happens is with the spike protein, it it causes chronic systemic inflammation. And with that causes what we call down-regulated effects. So the inflammation in the brain causes the brain fog. Um, the microbiota, the gut, the gut gets wiped out. Now you have a gut that's leaky, leaky gut, Mm -hmm. causing inflammation not only in the stomach, but it causes inflammation in the brain. So we try to take a a whole systemic approach of how do we get rid of chronic systemic inflammation? How do we get uh, perfusion back to the cells that they need, the oxygen that they need? Because we do notice that in long COVID, long haul syndrome, organs are getting less oxygen because of all the chronic systemic inflammation. Okay. So, you know, we, we just look at it as the entire system. If you had an automobile that had 500,000 miles on it and I told you to go 6,000 miles on a trip and it's nothing's been done to it, you wouldn't want to take that vehicle out. The implement- Depends if it's a Toyota or not. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. But these patients have not been getting treatment. They've usually been suffering for a year, two years. They don't know what long COVID really is unless they get into one of the groups that mm-hmm. have been on Facebook or other right. places. Because it's considered conspiracy theory stuff. Well, it- I mean, it's not for the patients um, since the very beginning as an advocate. We've been before the Congress and Senate twice. We've got three bills that have been co-introduced to try to help get help to long COVID. But but the reason they'll block it, though, is because they don't want to admit that they they, were wrong. They don't want to admit, right. They don't want to recognize that this could be potentially something. But if if you see a patient, and that's what we're seeing Uh on the medical side, is that every single thing just seems to kind of funnel into this brain fog, you know, chronic fatigue, weird neuro neurological symptoms, the headache, all the things that we talked about. But then, you know, it, it's a spectrum, right? So some people can just be like, I get a little dizzy every now and then mm-hmm. to full-blown three heart attacks and a stroke, mm-hmm. you know? And we, we have that at our clinic. Oh, we have wow. a patient, a, a young... 23-year-old. 23-year-old. Wow. Oh, my God. So, Two heart attacks. Oh, yeah. And and then we're being kind of... the One kid found us from... I don't, they're coming in from all over, but these are some of the sickest patients that I've ever seen. Um, meaning they've been dealing with this for three years and even say that they have at times become suicidal because so, nobody will help them. They'll go Because they'll go to the regular family doctor. They'll do a general set of blood work and say everything seems to be fine, but like it's not, you know. But why can't they, why don't they see what you guys see? Are they just not looking for it? They're trained in traditional medicine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, 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 they're, they're trained in Rockefeller where it, the machine has to tell them what's going on. If the machine says nothing's wrong, then... They're trained to go, there's nothing wrong. Right. You're, they you're just see depressed. the parameters there. And yeah, they all, almost 100% of them have been offered an antidepressant. But here's the thing. I know we've had this conversation before, and this is where the gut comes in, is that your serotonin and dopamine, all of the things that make you happy, it requires gut bacteria. So if you do not have gut bacteria, because the COVID virus actually has the ability to cling to the ACE2 receptor cells in the gut and just create inflammation, acute inflammation. So now it's just swelling. It's not, it's it's, not, it can be a collection of cells. It can be something very pathologic, which we also have a test for that too. We can draw your blood and say, wow, you've got a lot of inflammation going on. Now it's nonspecific unless we draw some certain markers, but we can tell even if it's not visible. So if you have any symptom that's outside of something that you would 
classify as normal, right? there may be some inflammation there. So hmm. it's not necessarily swelling. It can be visible or not, oh. but it is detectable. So, and, and, and generally, you know, people will go, well, we 40% of our country was already unhealthy before coronavirus. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we already had one foot in the grave with pre-diabetics, diabetics, mm-hmm. heart issues, Obesity, and so on. Blah, blah, blah. And, and then so how do you know it's long COVID? Well, what I normally tell them or vaccine injury is after you've had it, you'll start presenting signs and symptoms about 30 to 45 days afterwards. And then about every 30 to 45 days later, you'll start presenting more signs Can and symptoms. Can you fix it though? Yeah, it's reversible. Yeah. So there's also, just while you're on that, I just want to add to that, the more vaccines that you get, the we're, we're seeing this, this is what we're seeing, the worse the, the symptoms. So there was, there's a more, it seems like people that were vaccinated and the, the, however many boosters mm-hmm, they got, mm-hmm. they're having more severe symptoms oh my gosh, than people so that scary. just actually had COVID. You right. know, so there's kind of two different scenarios going on, but they all kind of lead to the same place and the treatment plan's the same. Did you get vaccinated? I got one. I got that Johnson and Johnson one. Which had, I wanted. I don't to, think that one had the mRNA in it. I wanted to go to Greece. What about, <laughs> so. what about you, Fox? Did you? I had the first one, a booster, and then the latest one, which is based on the latest version of COVID. Are you, are, you, are we making you mad? Because we're like talking like anti-vax stuff. Well, no, I really don't care. I work around a bunch of old people. <laughs> yeah, and that, that, that's the thing. We're not saying that either. Uh-huh. We're, we're not saying don't get it. We're not saying get it. Well, you I know, mean, there used to be this huge divide. If somebody said don't take the vaccination, people lose their ever-loving oh, it's, it's mind. It's totally become a political mm-hmm. thing. But yeah. here's my, on the medical side of things, if you want to get the vaccine, go get it. It's completely your, your, mm-hmm. your choice to make. Mm-hmm. You know, just make sure you're informed. Make sure you do your research. Make sure you see what these vaccines are actually, you know, doing inside your body. It's hard to do research, though, because there's so much contradictory, just like how you said, even like top uh, hospitals and doctors are saying something different. So it's really hard to even get your research right. But that right there should be a red flag. Mm -hmm. If you are not. So there is something in the medical world called informed consent, like in every single vaccine issued in a hospital, in a clinic or wherever you get a little by the CDC, there's a little piece of paper that comes with it, tells you all about the vaccine. I have not seen one of those. So red flag, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So right. it, it's just what, what was the, like everything just seemed weird. Right. I, I mean, well, and then I, it went political. So oh, yeah. I'm not saying don't get it or get it. My dad, had, there's the different, you know, family members that felt the need. My sister had Johnson and Johnson. Mm-hmm. My um, she had a bad reaction. You yeah, did. She put, already no, it had. Put, it put me down. I, I, I had COVID before I got the vaccine. Vaccine, and it just was like I couldn't smell, and then I had a slight fever. I took Motrin for like a day or two, and then I was fine after that. Um, and then for other reasons, I went ahead and got the vaccine, and that was like a million times worse. And it came on all of a sudden, and it put me down to where I was in the middle of running errands. I was going to go get my kids some food. And I felt so bad. I just turned right around. I went home and I gave my oldest daughter, I gave my teenager my phone and said, you got to door dash something because <laughs> I couldn't even go yeah. get food. Like I had to just lay down. Oh my god, It gosh. was so bad. Yeah. And, and that's kind of what the peanut analogy, like not mm-hmm. everybody is going to have that. You know, I had right. COVID. I don't have, I, at least I don't think I have long haul COVID. That was, you know, well, back in 2020. Right. Yeah. So, it, and I think. Have you was, had COVID? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's right. That's, that's right. Because right, you had so a lot kind of, that's let, what let me give you, thing. Um, so I had a podcast that was on Shaquille O'Neal's network. Uh, September 2020, it was launched as a long hauler advocating and speaking mm-hmm. on the subject. And like I said, I've been before the Congress and Senate twice trying to get help for our brothers and sisters out there that are suffering from this because it's absolutely real. Um, at my worst, I was diagnosed with early stages of Alzheimer's and CTE. Oh, my gosh. Brain maps to show it and prove it. Mm-hmm. So tell I was, them what CTE um, so there was a movie with uh, Will Smith called Concussion. It was it was based on the Pittsburgh Steelers that were um, dying and, and take, taking their lives. And it's because they were diagnosed with CTE. So it's repetitive concussions mm-hmm. okay. that, that caused some serious... Like brain trauma? Yeah, serious trauma. Mm-hmm. So um, that was a rough day for me when I was diagnosed with that. That was uh, March of 21. And how old are you? 51. Oh, we got to go. <laughs> it's <laughs> break time. Just when we get to the good stuff. Well, actually, you know what? That's good. That's a cliffhanger. So when we get back, we're going to continue with this story. So stay tuned for more bad radio. You're listening to Radio Cosmos. All night long. Bravo! On top of 
Come on, Shaw. Break for 30 seconds. Come on, Shaw. You are now listening to Bad Radio. Welcome back as we launch into our second hour of Bad Radio. I'm going to run through all the regular info for those of you who may have just joined us. I am your host, Angela Smarito. That's new. That's new. <laughs> I'm not even going to introduce you now, you Melissa, because of that. <laughs> that, was, that was what I call button finger. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our producer, Melissa Fox. Say mm. hi. Keeping hi. us on our toes. <laughs> Having fun. Hey. Um, next up, we have <laughs> Melissa Jacobs. She's our videographer and our co-host. Hello, hello. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> Her business is striking brand. And Melissa's been doing the Bad Radio videos uh, for over a year and a half now. And if you go to badradio.com, you can watch all previous episodes. And actually, Karen's going to be on a couple of yes. those previous episodes. And you can also find the rest of Melissa's work on strikingbrand.com. She is a videographer and a photographer. Thank you. So as we launch into the second hour, I'm just going to recap real quick. We're talking mm-hmm. with Karen Kelly. She's a family nurse practitioner with Mercy medical wellness and then dan rudy he's a cold laser therapist and he is also with mercy medical wellness i wanted to get like the whole idea of who's where doing what so um before we went to break um we were talking with dan about some of the um effects that side effects that he was having from long-term covid so let's pick up there you you got diagnosed with alzheimer's early Mm -hmm. stages of alzheimer's yes and ct uh march of uh 21 at that time, I'd, um, I was down to 168 pounds, so a full-on muscle wasting, neurological shakes, what we call um, uh, memory loss. Were you sleeping well, or is it just... Oh, uh, no. What about your job? What were you doing? I, mean- I, I um, <laughs> July of 19, I got ran off the highway, had a steel barrier head on, doing 70 miles per hour. So I was um, mm. recovering from um, that accident in rehab when I got COVID. Mm-hmm. first time so that's how I got oh, fun. COVID. so Jeez. um it was another year later where i got diagnosed with all that and being on these teams all the stuff that we know that we were using back then that no one wants to talk about the drugs that have no name um it was not it was helping but it was just slowing it down and it wasn't until um, dr talbron came and kind of picked me off the ground and, and helped me with rebuilding the gut um boosting the immune system uh, with the product called Copper Rain, which is a copper zinc uh, nano mist formula. And um, then cold laser came into my life. Mm. Uh, a friend of mine, Tony Tao in Fort Myers, Florida, uh, has a laser clinic there. And uh, he actually, we stumbled on it by accident because it was my leg that he was treating. Cause I shattered from, my, that, from the accident? From the accident. And um, the inventor of Bioflex, Dr. Khan, um, put out a post uh, June or July of 2020 for laser therapy to treat the lungs, COVID lung. Mm. And from there, I got um, into the research and figuring out, we, we, we knew spike protein was an issue September 2020. Once I got a hold of the lasers and learned how to use it and learned what it could do, we started focusing on areas that we knew spike protein was pooling. Does it collect in certain areas yes. like your gut? gut and nervous system nervous system mm-hmm. different okay. areas so i it took me about a year and a half almost two years to create a full protocol that would help get that spike out of those areas the chronic systemic inflammation and um, knowing that we have mitochondrial dysfunction from this long covid suffering from that it activates mitochondria so it makes the mechanic go back to work okay we're going to fix you and as you get the mitochondria activated through the cells the cells start pulling out the inflammation which will get the circulation going properly again, oxygen back to the cells, getting the inflammation out of the organs, um, and basically getting the blood back to homeostasis and the, the body back to hemo, uh, the blood back to hemostasis and the body back to homeostasis. Can you successfully get the spike protein out of somebody's body? Well, I mean, there's we don't have a, a specific test that's going to show that we're cleared out. But, right. you know, we're going off of signs and symptoms and patients themselves. Right. And and so we can get into the next phase of, so we reversed my Alzheimer's and CTE. Which is a miracle. It's wonderful. Yeah. And the funny thing is my brain is in the neurofeedback world. Like it's this, uh, June 2020 is when we did the first um, QEG brain map. And we, we do QEG brain we mapping at Mercy. Mercy Medical Center. Mm-hmm. But I'm the first long hauler that was documented with the brain, watching it progress, and then reversing it. Oh, wow. So 
we did a trial in Atlanta, Georgia, with Dr. Bergeron's office, who was another functional medicine doctor, and we had about an 85% incredible recovery rate from what they were showing signs and symptoms. Mm. And and since we've been doing it here at Mercy Medical, Karen's getting to see it as well. And it's it's something that... Are you blown away or what? Well, you know, and that's the thing. Like, I, it's like I've been telling Dan, I get, I know what it is. You know, and we we do the gut. I I'm like, let's do some IVs. Like, I'll boost their immune system. I do the gut work, but they get a bit, they perk up, but then they slide back down. And I'm just like, what is that missing piece that I'm missing? And now I'm seeing, you know, I gave him a couple patients when he first got over, and I was like, I'm gonna give you some some that I'm struggling with, but I'm struggling because they were my most Mm -hmm. severe that I've seen, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and they they're different people now like I it's it's short of nothing short of a miracle maybe I mean we're using science but the miraculous recovery these they waltz in I mean one brought me a beautiful (laughs) gift you know what I mean like they're they're different people and they have their life back and I am overjoyed seeing this because we have worked for I mean since COVID's existed Right. right like I don't know what it is but they bring Dan some flowers too well, we're all enjoying it. <laughs> so, I mean, there's, I'll share. There's been weeks where I've traveled. I, I get called to different areas. They find out, they hear about me, and they say, hey, can you come here? And I'll work with doctors. And there's been weeks where I've done nothing but treat doctors and nurses that are with suffering long long-term. COVID. What is the percentage of people that get COVID that end up with long-term? I mean, the, the, the most accurate data that we've seen is one in three. They're oh, gonna show, wow, that's so high. They're going to show some another, form of it. Yep, rule of thumb is... If you had very severe symptoms, then the likelihood of you developing long haul is much greater. Mm. But if you had just like mild, like maybe, a, you know. Does it matter oh, which God. strain, whether it was like the Delta Al- or the Corona Alpha, or, or not Corona, but like, I don't know. Alpha and Delta were the the most showing the most of long COVID severity, long, long-term Alpha effects. is the first one. I remember Delta is the one that kicked a lot of people's butts. Yeah, I, I have not differentiated them. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we're looking at spike protein, and and we're and that's what we're dealing with. Mm-hmm. And you ask, can you get the spike protein out? So we can draw blood work to see if there's a spike protein like existence, mm-hmm. but we can't see how much is in there, right? So there is a way to like recheck it and see if it's gone. But if I'm understanding you right, if somebody okay, so she's say she's like. Cripple, or cripple, <laughs> triple, Dang, or, or, you know, she's vaxxed to the max, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm not, but I'm mm-hmm. allergic to it or have that. But does that mean I she can make me sick? So, I mean, if you're allergic to anything, that's going to make you sick. But I don't think but you I mean allergic. She, but I meant, because like I said, you were saying that you could be in the same room and so still breathe. So there is some, and, some research that suggests that there is shedding from someone that does have the mRNA mm, vaccine. That's so terrifying. you are exposed yeah to what you're trying to avoid anyway it's the perfect (laughs) weapon i'm just saying like it's gonna it's going to like infiltrate everyone's life whether they wanted to get it or not and that's where that's kind of where the the where did our choice go you know what i mean it's just it's just i don't know and and the approach that we're doing is the best offense for this is a good defense and what's the defense we're going to use is our immune, immune system. system. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. keep yourself healthy and boosted, boosted and, and just take, you know, there's natural nutraceuticals, nutraceuticals you can take and natural antivirals. Mm-hmm. So for someone who's been immunocompromised, let's say lupus or right. uh, you know, have autoimmune disorders, mm-hmm. you want to make sure you're, you're, you're keeping things that will help protect you naturally um, mm-hmm. from these things that are going around. Well, I know that Karen's a specialty it, at that. Yeah, and, and that's, you know, so our whole approach is, is, is holistic functional medicine to really address the core issues, the root mm-hmm. issues, not the symptoms, but the root issue to where the symptoms are coming from. And, you know, wh- one of the stories that we, you know, we just heard today. She's going to she's gonna start playing the music in just like 10 seconds. Oh, okay. So Five, when we come back, we're going to talk about a nurse three. that couldn't do anything for <laughs> oh, a year. Yeah, two. <laughs> Love it. We got a cliffhanger. All right. So you guys stay tuned because when we get, we're going to have some more bad radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. Welcome back to Bad Radio, and this portion of the show is brought to you by Rachel Roach Realty, a Coldwell Banker Realtor. With the sea of realtors out there, choose the one that thinks about you first and not their commission. 
407-252-4566. And we've been talking with Karen Kelly and Dan Rudy with uh, Mercy Medical Wellness. And we're going to continue on the conversation. And the truth is, is that we could talk about this probably for like 10 more hours. Mm -hmm. But right before break, Dan was telling us a story. And I'm going to pick back up. He's like, where? What was about I talking a nurse? about? Uh, my mind was working just fine. We we had not one but two different nurses that we were dealing with. One one of Karen's patients um, for almost a year. Well, we can't. We can talk about HIPAA laws. No. HIPAA laws. No identifying. Yeah, there's no. Yeah. Do you guys need a sidebar? Yeah, <laughs> you can't hear you anyway. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we were we were talking about not. But Go. she's a med- she's a medical professional. That part doesn't matter. Just yeah, don't that part. Men- so, yeah, we're not names or anything like yeah, that. Just, just names. explain the situation. So she was suffering from either. Well, we, I mean, she had COVID, yeah. you know, and then she kept, she has the, the chronic fatigue, all of the symptoms, the right. brain fog. That's another one that's just like, wow. It's just like, mm-hmm. we get so far and then psh, off the wagon. And she was having energetic levels, issues and so forth and so on. And after I think the third treatment. It's crazy. It was amazing. It was on Friday. The Monday that she came in, she goes, I went and rode my bike for 30 miles this weekend, and I wanted to. And I hadn't done that in almost a year. And she Aww. was like tears coming out of her And she goes, the brain fog is gone. And I was like, what? So okay, so you said third hurt. treatment. What does the treatment look like? It's it's about an hour and 15 minutes. Of what? what? It, it's just a little paddle. Laser, and it, yeah. It's a laser, it, and it does have the red glow to it. You know, and, and there's a protocol, but we treat, he treats the whole body. Okay. So. And that. You got to come in and see it. Like okay. we were saying. So, you know, when we're treating, we're treating mitochondrial dysfunction and chronic inflammation. And, and that's basically what laser therapy has been approved for through the FDA. Increases um, circulation, decreases inflammation, decreases pain. Um, so when you're dealing with chronic systemic inflammation, that's what we're tackling. We're, we're getting rid of the, the mitochondrial dysfunction. We're, we're activating it and getting that chronic systemic inflammation out of the mm-hmm. spinal cord, out of the lungs, out of the gut, repairing endothelial cells, epithelial cells in the gut, and, and getting patients sealed and healed. You know? Sealed and healed, I love it. If the, if the gut is not corrected, we are literally like just wasting time. Wasting time. Wasting time. It's just not... You've got to have that gut component. That's where everything is made, you know, or synthesized or absorbed, like in one way or the other. So if it's leaking, because of so virus, how do, what is Dr. Mueller's uh, um, role in all of this? He's got a, a what we call it, the uh, Mueller's. It's the Mueller's Immunity uh, co- Cocktail. Okay. So it is not an IV that you can just walk in and get. It It's a... Uh, very powerful. It's got some ingredients in it that go beyond just the the normal nutritional stuff. All you know, healthy and safe for right. you. Well, Obviously, yeah. I'm not you know <laughs> doing that, but but um, he that's kind of his specialty. I mean, he used to do well, cancer I know he support used to work therapy, on cancer for, patients, right? Yeah. And and that way he was you know kind of the IV program. Like he mm-hmm. is the developer of all that. So. He kind of, I kind of do the functional, you know, gut approach and obviously immune boosting, but then he brings the IVs, Mm -hmm. you know, so, and and they're very amazing IVs. I've just seen some incredible stuff with his stuff working with him in the past. And now we have a, like a whole new recipe Mm because we've got a whole new thing we're treating, right? Um, And then with all of us kind of working on the the person together, we even have a counselor that's coming on board that we're going to have like some support groups uh, eventually that, that she is recognizing that there is an anxiety associated with COVID, mm-hmm. the, the virus, whatever, just the whole experience, you know, that is so different than just the regular anxiety. It kind of mm-hmm. goes beyond. Oh, I remember I, I had, I've had COVID twice. The first time was in actually January of 2020 and I didn't get diagnosed with it, but I had a flu test that came back inconclusive, but oh, it kicked my butt for two, three weeks. And it was, you know, once the world, you know, shut down in March, I was like, oh, well, that's what was wrong with me. Um, and that one was just straight up sick. But then I got the whatever is called Omicron one. And um, I felt like I was on acid sometimes. Like I like I literally like at one point I looked at my cat. I was at the house and I didn't I was like, whose cat is this? I'm like, wait, I know this is my cat. Uh-oh. Why don't I recognize my own cat? Yeah, and, that's yeah. Good. and I had a hallucination that it was my cat from like 20 years ago. Angela, and, oh no. I know. So that's a nervous system. That That's a nervous system complaint, right? That's coming from 
the nervous system. So where does this vi- virus is like to hide? It out? felt so chemically like yeah. produced that I was like, it, it freaked me out though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like having flashbacks from yeah. like <laughs> acid days <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> it's almost like blackout drunk. I, I, I treated patients that were, they um, don't remember most of what they were going through. Isn't that weird? Or it is super weird. And, and that's the other thing that's so weird is that I've never seen a virus really act like this. You know, it, well, it affects science. everybody so differently. Everybody. Like it, I didn't lose my taste and smell. My I did. did. And, and that's how I knew I had it. Otherwise I didn't mm-hmm. know, but I, I had this like super smelly, you know, essential oil. I think it was eucalyptus or something. And, you know, I keep it on my desk and I'm like, you're just like, <laughs> I'm just adding more and adding more and adding more. And then my student walks in and she's like, wow, my eyes are burning. And I was, and me and her looked at each other and I was like, shut up. I'm fine. <laughs> So then I started smelling everything. And oh, I'm you like, mean not smelling everything? Well, yeah. I was like, I can't smell a thing. It was the most bizarre thing I've ever experienced in my life. Tom, so it, when you it. get it, it, it so I've ha- I have patients that are depressed because they can't smell. Or like it taste. never came back. Mm-hmm. Well, that affects your taste, yeah. right? So then that affects your joy. Right. You know, you want to enjoy your food. So you can help people get their yeah, smell. I taste put her on the little, you know, uh, rehab essential oil mm-hmm. thing and hers got better you know but that is also a symptom of long haul Mm -hmm. that's something that could happen that's got to be so satisfying and so gratifying when somebody comes in and they're like at their wits end and you're like you know i got you and then they come back every day i would i would like be just (laughs) i'd be on cloud nine Mm -hmm. every time somebody came in with like a with a happy story of um all right so let's keep going i would say you have somebody like crying joyful tears on a daily basis when you treat them Aww. like i'm in the front and i hear like oh, oh it's tough oh i i'm i feel for him sometimes because mm-hmm. you know as a man you won't you don't think that you know some of them are female but they're like just so grateful that they have their life back mm-hmm. they have hope you know when you have no hope i, I mean that's a really sad place to be oh uh, yeah yeah you know sure. so bringing back hope bringing back their the way that they feel like you said, you had the hallucination. Well, some people say it's an out-of-body experience. Uh, yes. You know what I mean? It was very very much like that. Or they were driving in their truck, and they've driven this their whole time, and they have no idea where they were. Mm-hmm. And then it comes back. Like, when that goes away, and you can think, and you can go to work, and you can do what you need to do, like, that's that's incredible. You know, that's giving somebody their their life mm-hmm. back, right so you had mentioned three treatments how many treatments does it take or how, how does somebody go about being treated so let's just make a scenario um i'm uh, uh i've been having i've heard about you guys on bad radio and i've decided to come in because i'm concerned that i might have long-term covid so how does the whole system work so you'll see either karen or dr mueller uh, they'll do their assessment assessment mm-hmm. and then after that um they do the IV therapy, and then they come to me for the cold laser therapy. So it's a three-part. It's gut, yeah. IV therapy, then cold therapy. Yes. And then um, <clears throat> the base protocol is a five-day straight protocol where I treat you five days in a row. Because, again, we're beating chronic systemic inflammation out. Mm-hmm. So we got to get that inflammation out in order to start getting to recovery. Um, from there, it depends on the patient, you know, where, what they're presenting signs and symptoms. So they go back to Karen. They go back to Dr. Mueller. And we just keep working all, on, on, you know. Yeah, they're all so unique. So not, to, and we also do a blood work. That's why they either see me or Dr. Mueller. You know, if I think it's a little beyond, you know, what I'm, I'm doing, then mm-hmm. it's Dr. Mueller. You mm-hmm. know, and then some people just it's preference, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, but it it will require like us to draw some blood work. Mm-hmm. Let's see, like we're noticing that the pl- the panels that we draw in the more functional aspect is also identifying mineral deficiencies and mm-hmm. vitamin deficiencies, which like then me. again points right back to the gut. You know, why are they not absorbing their B12? Well, that's in the small bowel. That's the right. responsibility. All right. Well, we're going to continue Crazy. on with this conversation. So stay tuned for more Bad Radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. Welcome back. And this portion of Bad Radio is brought to you by Liberty Property Inspections. Your home is one of your most important investments, so don't trust it to just anyone. LibertyPropertyInspections.net, helping you protect your investment. And we are back from break, and we are with Karen Kelly and Dan Rudy with Mercy Medical Wellness. Now, we've been talking a lot about COVID and um, long-term COVID, and um, their, their practice now is really 
focusing a lot on treating pa- pa- patients with long-term COVID. So, um, so we were talking about the process. So somebody comes in, and and then as, right, since you guys open, um, what have you guys done to get the word out about what you do? Well, I, I've been busy working. Karen won't, won't give me a break. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I mean, you guys are busy yeah, then, right? Yeah, so yeah. business is good. Right, business is good. Uh, mm-hmm. um, I haven't really had to do anything, but I also needed to. When I when remember this was all like a what's going on? Like, right, I didn't right. even know we were going to open. It just kind of everything came together. Like, I think they call that a whirlwind. Yeah, or a god thing. I like to call it that. You know, <laughs> like it all just kind of fit together. So I needed to see if I was going to evolve as you know Karen Kelly, you know the hormone person, which is really what most people that come to me want, and I still do all of that. You know, but. When this came along, it's almost like as a healthcare provider and especially in the functional world, you got to shift with the times. Mm -hmm. And by being a functional or holistic or natural, whatever you want to call it, Mm -hmm. we can kind of get around some of the guidelines of the Western, you know, traditional traditional medicine, right? So, um, and that is the reason we're cash pay only. You can use um, care credit. You can use Mm -hmm. any of those HSA. Well, I know that. I mean, I talked to, um, when I was going to come see you about the, like menopause and stuff, my, my, um, my doctor was like, Oh no, you shouldn't do that. He, he basically told me getting old wasn't a sickness or wasn't an illness. And, um, he just, he's like, you know, it's a part of, it's part of getting old. You know, you get menopause, you're, this hurts, that hurts. But the one thing that I was great about going to see Karen though, is that they had given me, um, a, a a script to go see a uh, rheumatoid arthritis because I was having really bad a uh, hand and feet mm-hmm. pain. Like when I sat down for a certain period of time, like I couldn't just get up and walk. I had to like ease Slowly. my way into mm-hmm. it. And Karen was like, that's an autoimmune. So we need to do this, this, this. And I mean, I have to say that I don't, that's gone. Like I don't have well, to worry about, awesome. huh? Yeah. Um, and like you said, you put me on, I don't know. I just, but, I always just say, just tell me what to take. I'll take it. And that's, I'll follow that's exactly the rules. what I was going to say. <laughs> so I give you this plan and the plan will work if you do it. If you don't, well, then you're going to keep coming with the same problems. Yeah. You know, that is one thing that I will do is that if somebody, I am super good at following, like that's why if somebody's watching me, if I want to go on like a diet or whatever, they say, eat this, do this and do this. I will do it <laughs> and it will work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if I try to figure it out on my own, forget about it. It never works. So Angela did all the work. Hmm? I just gave you the list of things. To do. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's what's cool. And I actually went to my doctor recently um, just for like a checkup. And um, he asked me about it. And I said, well, I didn't go to the, to the rheumatoid arthritis doctor. And he was like, oh, I was like, I did this instead. And you see him kind of, oh, and I, I was like, but I feel great. And he goes, so he was like, he was steering me away from the hormone replacement stuff. Yeah, I I think or or peptides or anything peptides hormones like those are so important to your to your health and wellness. I mean, but you're not going to get them at you know Orlando Health or anything. No, because they want to give you you know keep ill taking pills. Right. So if you have an autoimmune, so so if you had gone to the rheumatologist and they did some autoimmune panel on you and found that you had autoimmune, they would recommend probably an injection of something that's going to suppress your immune system. That's bad. While it works, you know, it, it will get rid of the immediate symptoms. Oh, long term, it's not very good for you. You're mm-hmm. weakening the immune system. So why wouldn't we just work on your your own immune system? That's the problem, right? right. So if I can give you something that's going to slow the progression of your autoimmune disorder mm-hmm. and then even reverse it, why wouldn't you want to do that? And use something that doesn't suppress the immune system. Like we're boosting it, yeah. right? I never will understand Western medicine and why they're so close-minded to so many. I mean, I, mm-hmm. okay, I respect doctors by all means. Don't get me wrong. But I really find it like so, so odd that they won't be open-minded to a lot of those things. You know, and that's exactly why I left. I am Western trained, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I spent a lot of time with patients coming back for their pills, right? Their and pills. Like, don't you know there's something you could do about this? Like, mm-hmm. let's just do this, this, and that. And it got to a point where my patients were getting better, their labs were getting better, and then they would get in trouble for not picking up their prescription from the diagnosis code that's associated with their diagnosis, right? So if they have high cholesterol, I got to put a code on there that identifies to the insurance company that they are, this is what they have. So now they're in cahoots with the pharmaceutical company well, on what medicine they want me to put them on. Mm-hmm. And then if I don't do exactly what they say, 
then I'm going to get a little slap on the wrist because they didn't pick up their medication. Really? Absolutely. I, I probably have one in my car I can show you. It's called a con- care consideration. I didn't even know that was a thing. Me oh, neither. I, I can prove it to you. That wow. is why I left. I felt like I was basically, my hands are tied, and maybe not everybody has this problem or, or this issue in their clinic. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying you to say one should You get trouble for treating all. a patient. And- I could be dropped as a provider from that insurance if wow. I did not do what they are asking me to do. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's a possibility. Or they could drop the patient because they appear non-compliant. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Right? So if you look like you're really he- healing people and getting them well with, you know, stop taking this, stop taking that, don't take that, you know, eat this, drink that, exercise, like you, you start to look like Something weird is going on, you know? So, you know what? That just I would rather <laughs> live in a box than prescribe poison to people. Mm-hmm. So, I do even have patients that get real upset with me when I won't presi- I, I won't initiate a prescription for any psychological medication. So, antidepressants, yeah. none of that stuff. Well, I mean, you I know, wish that they w- w- never would have got on citalopram because I'm too scared to get off of it because well, I don't want to have to go through So withdrawals. you definitely need to come let us work on you because mm-hmm. the brain mapping, I think uh, we have a, a brain mapping specialist, Adrian yeah. Covedo. He's got, he's amazing. Um, but even that is part of our program, you know, it, and that's kind of an a la carte if we need it. But the neurofeedback part, he and I work together to get patients off of their well, if I for, if I miss a pill, then the whole next day I'm like space cadet, and it's the so worst. you need some neurofeedback. I, I meant feedback to me is just getting information or like no, I don't it's know what really that means. Cool. They put the little electrodes on your head right now. You know, we're trying to get. There's a lot of things going on over at Mercy. Can right? it help? So, can that thing uh, the the feedback thing like if if somebody is t- is st- on Prozac and they want to get off Prozac. That is exactly what we do. We also reach out to children that have been diagnosed with ADHD or even adult ADHD. And what it looks like is an EEG. You see the little electrodes coming off the head? Mm-hmm. So the, the initial map is eight minutes. Mm-hmm. Four minutes, eyes open. Four minutes, eyes closed, right? And then we get this very detailed picture of your brain, which is why I told Adrian I'm never going to do a brain map because I don't even want to know what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> I might explode your machine. I'm not sure, you know? But it's very, very detailed. Uh-huh. He will know you. Even if you don't tell him your secrets, it's probably something in there, right? <laughs> so then that determines what the treatment is, right? Yeah. And then they, the person sits in front of a TV, and they have the electrodes, and there's a technician sitting behind them, and it's monitoring the brain waves. Oh, my God. Is anybody so else thinking about Ghostbusters? If some, it literally <laughs> looks like that. Do you know what I'm talking about it, it from totally Ghostbusters? Like yeah. <laughs> but there's a tech that's watching it. So if one of those little dopamine receptors, it's not developed fully in the little ADHD child, they're going to send it a little message from the computer to, to do something. You're actually like keeping the TV bright. If it uh-huh. dims, something, there's something off. So that's then we stimulate it. So who does that? You? No, you. It's Adrian. Adrian. He's part of our team too. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, he's kind of our nerve, neurological expert. So I we'll could come it. to you and you could do that on me and then you would be able to help me figure out how to get off of citalopram. The neurofeedback would, yes. You guys sound like the X-Men. It sounds Dr. cool Dr. though. Dr. No, I always wanted to be an X-Men. Back yeah. in my crazy days, I got arrested and I, I literally <laughs> was sitting there in the paddy wagon and thinking about if I were an X-Men right now. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which like one? I would beam everybody's eyes. Yeah. You know, I would beam myself <laughs> out of the paddy wagon. Like that's how immature is what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, that's why we're friends, girl. <laughs> All right, you guys, out. we're actually going to one more break. That 10 minutes goes fast, doesn't yeah. it? All right. So when we get back, is, is that our last segment coming one up? More. One more, right? Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to wrap everything up when we get back um, from break. So stay tuned for the last of Bad Radio. Welcome back to Bad Radio, brought to you by Premier Couple Superstore, because a couple that plays together stays together. I want to give a huge thank you to our sponsors, and one's Bolts Legal. Fear, fear, fear no storm with BoltsLegal.com. 33 Tanning Spa with locations in Altamont Springs and Longwood. 
Andrews Law PA, auto accident attorney. Contact Andrews Law today at andrewslawpa.com. And Crazy Muscle Nutrition in Longwood is soon to be Castleberry. Mm -hmm. We just, I talked to Zach yesterday or the day before, and they postponed the opening of the new store until June 1st. Oof. Yeah. So um, I guess they had some plumbing problems. (laughs) Got you. Might as well take your time, make it right. Yeah. He called, when I talked to him, he goes, apparently I'm a plumber now, too. I was like, (laughs) add it to your resume. Put in the floors. Yeah. (laughs) Mm-hmm. So for this last segment, we are talking with um, Karen Kelly and Dan Rudy with uh, Mercy Medical Wellness. Now, we've covered a lot of stuff, and I think that it's kind of it's an eye opener for me on a lot of that stuff, to be honest with you. But I think it's fantastic what you guys are doing mm-hmm. with like helping people with long term COVID. Um, so let's talk about the future of, of the practice. I mean, where who are you who do you want to bring more people in i mean you said you're busy right now but there's always room for growth what are some of the long-term things that you want to see happen well well me personally uh, as an advocate for long haulers as a long hauler long someone who suffered this hell um i, I want them to know that there is help out there mm-hmm. first of all you're not crazy mm-hmm. and we're a place that not only myself and, and karen and dr Mueller. We all understand what they're going through. Yeah. So we, well, there's we, going to be an education piece with it too, which I think that that's where if we could figure out how to get you in front of more people to talk about stuff like this, and mm-hmm. that's going to be hugely beneficial um, because like you said, a lot of people don't even know, or like you said, they have it and they're scared or they don't even know they have it. Yeah. I call them the silent sufferers or the walking wounded. Mm-hmm. They just don't know. And, and that's what we're really trying to do. We're trying to educate. We're trying to inform. We're trying to give them hope and understanding that there are ways to help recover from this. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were looking for long haulers. We're also looking for vaccine injured. Um, cause it, I'm sorry, vaccine injured? Vaccine injured. Okay. Because they're out there. And, and again, it's two of the same bird, spike protein toxicity, spike protein, chronic inflammation, causing the downstream effects that they're suffering from. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're here for. We're, we're here to help that way. And um, So just sorry to interrupt. So is there any length of time that can pass that all of a sudden means that you're out of the woods for being a long hauler? Or can it show its ugly face at any time after you have COVID? Usually if you've had it in, you know, 30 to 60 I know, Yeah, I said 30, 60 days. 30 to 60 days later, you're not showing anything. You're, you're pretty much out of the woodworks. Okay. But reinfection or... Yeah, who you knows should what definitely else could... follow a maintenance. Yeah. Like if we, we get your immune system solid, you, you should probably do that for the rest of your life. Like mm-hmm. don't go back to I'm not saying that somebody was unhealthy when they started, but if whatever we did worked, let's keep, keep up with it. Keep it going. Mm-hmm. Like you may not have to do as many, but mm-hmm. you're going to have to take your supplements. Yeah. You know? I think I see you doing seminars for sure or some sort of like speaking engagement. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was doing before mm-hmm. the clinic. I was traveling, educating, spe- I mean, literally speaking to rooms of doctors, and I go, I call myself Forrest Gump. <laughs> I have no idea how I got into all the situations, but it's a God thing. Mm-hmm. God kept me here for a reason. He helped me get back through science and my friends to where I can function, walk and talk and chew bubble gum and not know, you know, know where I'm at, not mm-hmm. where I was dealing with before. And knowing to have that gift to be able to help others is a blessing. Mm. And, and, you know, uh, to the day I die, I'll say it was God. And God's helped me throughout this whole thing. For a marketing thing, too, mm-hmm. you can trade Melissa and I, we can do some testimonial reels for mm-hmm. him because mm-hmm. I Definitely. think that would be incredibly powerful as to see some of the joy that people, you, you guys see it all the time and it's moving, obviously. Mm-hmm. And um, it, for other people to be suffering from stuff like that and to be able to see, like, because we're everybody's on social media, mm-hmm. so to see that would be a, a incredible testament mm-hmm. to the other thing is when people don't always know that they have long haul mm-hmm. symptoms they just know they don't feel good right so then they come in and then through kind of either dr Mueller or myself we kind of go through these symptoms and then we're like wow it's long haul that's how i'm i'm like literally every single one of them i'm like dan here you go dan here you go it's almost <laughs> like and and then together with all that they're doing and then it's almost like after the first treatment i see something different in them like color comes back it's it's mm-hmm. incredible. It really is crazy. It, it, it's going to be called energetic-based medicine. Oh, okay. Field. Energetic-based medicine. It's the buzzword going around South by Southwest, all these medical conferences that we go to. Um, and, and it will be 21st century ways of dealing with chronic systemic inflammation, autoimmune disorders. It's a new approach. It's a new old approach. It's really simple. You know, when you're fighting something chronically, you're, you're, you don't have a finite amount of resources. Mm -hmm. So your immune system gets weakened. Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing is we're replenishing with IV therapy, 
with, mm-hmm. with different cocktails, and then we're rebuilding with the, the cold laser therapy. So, right. you know, where can they find us at? Yeah, no, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> Karen? Karen? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you can find us at 4063 North Goldenrod Road. We're in the very first suite. You said Goldenrod. I thought you were in Lake Mary. Oh, that's been years, girl. Oh, then I'm I losing Winter my Park. mind. Uh-huh. Yeah, that started off in Lake Mary. Okay. And then I bounced to Winter Park. And then I went to Baldwin Park. And now I'm back in Winter Park. Gotcha. Cool. Yep, right across from the Publix, from the Blue Plaza. I know Plaza. where that is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, we're Suite 101. Um, our phone number is 321-972-4481. And this is our very first, like, marketing attempt because mm-hmm. we just got set up. Right. Like, we're not even two months old. But we can already see, Got like, it. what's what's happening. Oh, my gosh. You know? Well, people are going to want to hear this stuff. Mm-hmm. And then there's also going to be the, the, the haters. And, you know, I'm sure that you guys are probably um, going to. I oh, mean, we like, have very thick skin. Yeah. Well, you well, you kind of have to be. because <laughs> oh, yeah. At the end of the day, we're, fo- we're patient focused. We're, mm-hmm. we're not mm-hmm. outside noise focused. We're, right. They come in. They need help. That's our job. We're mm-hmm. trying to help them get back to a life that's worth living. Mm-hmm. Like she said, literally, I'll get these patients and they've. They're broken. They literally been to a dozen doctors. Mm-hmm. They've been gaslit. They've been told there's nothing wrong with them. They're just depressed. And then to see the transformation through the protocols and through the treatment, and then the crying and the hugging, mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and, and, and it is a blessing. It, but they but, almost don't want to leave. Like they yeah. just come in and like one. I'm like, what are you doing here? You know, yeah. this is my happy place. It's my I'm like place. wonderful. You know, I, that's kind of like when we did the lobby. I wanted it to feel like just. You know, like mm-hmm. just a place that you could come to that we've got you, uh-huh. you know. Uh, tell us everything that um, that Mercy Medical has to offer. So we have me, and I'm still doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. So I still do the hormones, autoimmune conditions. You know, we have all of our little alternative things. We have a fully functioning IV suite, plus we do mobile IVs. You mentioned mm-hmm. a nutritionist to me as well. Um, it's not a nutritionist. She's a health coach. Health coach. Okay. Right. Very so, cool. so like, for example, you wanna, you have a weight loss goal. Mm-hmm. And we're doing like peptides or something to do that. Mm-hmm. Then you do it on your own if you want to, but don't call me kind of thing. You got to, you got to work with the health coach. Mm, gotcha. That is the, her point. She will hold your hand. She will walk you through it. She will do a diet. And I wasn't saying anybody in specific. I'm just saying. Right, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's, she's a you founder. Know, you know, people Passionate. talk about how I talk with my hands. I, I, don't think I can talk as well without them. <laughs> just, you, you, she she should them. be a judge so she can yeah. have a gavel. Just, <laughs> I, I, I don't even realize it until I get called out. It's so embarrassing. But then, anyway, no, we, yeah, we do. We have a mobile IV service. Um, we have brain mapping and neurofeedback. We have the cold laser therapy. and Get closer a little bit. Dr. Mueller. You're get a little bit closer? Too, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. So Dr. So, Mueller, and that's with the IV therapy. And then. Cold laser therapy, yes. And then we also have the, we have Alex. For mental health. Right. We, oh, okay. we have a, a mental health coach that's kind of. Is that a in. therapist or is that. She is a licensed mental health counselor. Ooh. And she is really good at working with these very, very anxious people that have long haul COVID. Because it's a, like I said, it's different. It's okay. not mm-hmm. just a, your your usual anxiety that kind of peaks. And it, it is like people will say, I've had anxiety my whole life. But this is different. Right. They literally say that. They're losing their hair. They're wasting away. Their muscles are. I mean, these are true scenarios that I'm sending you. The, la- the last time we've seen something like this is, was in the 80s. Yeah. And so we're creating the first um, group therapy on Thursday nights with mm-hmm. Alex um, to give them a way to meet and greet and share their stories together. That's so wonderful. This has been a great show, and I know that we could talk about it for so long. But I have a feeling that we're going to be long-term partners here because I definitely know that you've got some stuff that I am interested in. Mm-hmm. So just real quick, um, give your website out for everybody. MercyMedicalWellness.com. Perfect. It's all spelled out. And I can't wait for somebody to get on there and look at that website. That's going to show how good I am at okay. social media. It, <laughs> it's literally beautiful. Somebody helped me do it. But then they passed the torch to me. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. Okay. So there it is. Anybody wants to volunteer, that would be great. <laughs> all right. And you can find me at strikingbrand.com and strikingbrand on all social media platforms. I am Angela, and this is Bad Radio. And so we hope to catch you next week. 